As Mother's Day approaches, I'm reminded of what I've lost and found in my own mum. Looking back over the years, I look at what we shared together. We were like two peas in a pod. We loved to go walking together until arthritis won and walking became too difficult and painful. She would teach me the names of the different flowers that crossed our paths and from this I developed a love for gardening. Growing up, I wasn't interested in cooking. I didn't bother the rest of the family were good cooks. When the family get together stopped as people went their separate ways and got caught up in their own families, I started to take an interest. As my parents aged, I took over more and more of the cooking and started collecting cookbooks and hoarding dozens of pullouts from magazines. Ma and I would pore over the recipe books discussing the merits of recipes and what we were going to cook. Recipe books are still something we share together. Ma can't operate the stove and can no longer remember where any of the ingredients are kept, but she can still sit at the table and help me cut things up. She can roll a mean lamington in the coconut and help me with sausage rolls. We taste test and argue about what needs to be added. Her secret ingredient is sweet chilli sauce for anything that just doesn't taste like it should, and it works. She has trouble knowing how to cut some things up and can no longer remember her tried and true recipes. I'm so glad I took it on myself to write my favourites out a long time ago. We were cutting up onion and garlic the other day and I used the flat of the knife to crush the garlic so the skin would flake off. This was something she taught me many years ago. She told me she'd have to remember that trick for next time. That's when you feel sad, sad for what she's lost. The Mother's Day and birthday cards I have given her over the years were from a daughter paying homage to a mother supporter and best friend. Every card I used to give her would reduce her to tears. Over the last couple of years I've struggled to find a card to express our changed relationship. I can't bring myself to buy the cards of old. Don't get me wrong, I still love my ma to the moon and back, it's just that things have now changed. She's different from the ma I used to know. I'm now more like the mother than the daughter. I now take responsibility for her health and well-being. I now take her everywhere she needs to go. I now spend nearly every waking hour with her. So yes, I don't feel like I can give those cards anymore. I'm sad for the mother I've lost. But I've also found another Ma. Over the years, whenever I've asked Ma if she wanted to go out, nine times out of 10, she wouldn't go. Now Ma will nearly always go out with me. She's more outgoing. She asked me to put purple highlights in her hair and we're talking bright purple before Christmas has been rocking them ever since. My ma was never very demonstrative. She hugged me the other day of her own accord and for the first time I can remember. I was blown away. She now uses a term of endearment to address me. She's never done that. Not sure whether it's because she can't remember my name or anyway, I'm basking in the glow. While I've lost the ma I knew, the new ma is just as lovable, albeit different. So this year, the Mother's Day card will be different from previous years. And as always, I'll try and pick the card that makes her cry. <laughs>